recording will start to uh, dr j okay sir please start so at the very outset of this session uh, we welcome professor kalyan gadai uh, professor in extension education institute of agriculture sciences banaras hindi university Yes, I invite uh, Dr. Goel to welcome him and introduce him to our audience and then request sir to kindly present this presentation. Dr. Goel. Uh, thank you, sir. Good, mo good, mo good morning to all of uh, all, all the participants. Today is a resource person, Professor Kalyan Gadai, sir. Hamida, ma'am and all the team of NADCL. Friends, today we have a very, uh, you can say, renowned person of Department of Extension Education. He has uh, more than, I think, 22 years uh, experience of teaching, research, and extension. So friends, today we have Dr. Pro uh, Professor Kalyan Gadai, sir. Who is working as a professor and head of the department, Department Department of Extension Education, Institute of Agricultural Sciences, Banaras Hindu University, Varanasi. Uh, actually, uh, sir has did his uh, his sir started his work uh, in this university. Uh, I think since two thousand two, and uh, he has vast experience of extension as well as innovative ideas for the betterment of the farming community and enhancing the um, income of farmers. Sir has uh, also visited the USA for Raman postdoctoral fellowship uh, for one year. And uh, sir is continuously guiding masters and PhD uh, uh, students. And sir is actively involved in participation of national and uh, especially international um, seminars in the university um, at here VHU, as well as other uh, institutions of India and other agricultural state universities of Uttar Pradesh. So we are very fortunate to have today our resource person, Professor Kalyan Gadhai, sir. Sir, I am thankful to you for accept, uh, accepting our invitation for this talk. So now uh, this uh, time uh, for uh, your talk. So please, sir, please start your talk. Thank you. OK, uh, so. And uh, thank you for inviting me for interacting with uh, our precious delegates. Uh, this morning, I just wanted to share some of the uh, ideas how we can motivate the farmers for uh, livelihood development and rural development. How farmers can uh, uh, get benefit out of agricultural technology. Uh, I do not know what is the profile of teachers. Uh, so um, as I received uh, information earlier, there are scientists, assistant professors, and there are some students. So I welcome uh, on behalf of myself and on behalf of Banaras Hindu University. I welcome everybody. Uh, my slides are visible? Yes, sir. OK. Uh, so uh, if you have any technical help, I, I will ask you or I will ask um uh, uh, your team to help me right okay i am here and dr uh, habida ma'am both uh, are here if you yeah. face any so problem me, uh, yeah, what, uh, um so um, what i was uh, uh, sharing that we have gone long miles in transfer of technology communicating technology to the farmers am i audible yes sir am i audible yes so we have gone long time uh, for a transfer of technology, uh, communicating technology among the farmers. So even then, uh, people uh, 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 people have a perception that uh, reality we have not reached to the farmers. Uh, and uh, most of the time, it comes to the people who are working in 
agricultural extension they blame to agricultural extension people blame to um kbk systems people blame to state agricultural universities so we play a blame game but the reality is not uh, the true everybody is trying hard to really communicate the farmers but the motivation is a very um, difficult task uh, those who are working in kbk they know the difficulty those who are in a ground level they know the difficulty there is so much of a diversity in a geographical situation so much of a diversity in uh, uh, perception among the people so much of a diversity among the attitude of the people uh, if the wife takes uh, the package of practices the husband tells no i won't accept the technology and uh, and in agricultural extension there is a principle known as whole family principle so unless the whole family is convinced uh, we cannot uh, transfer the technology and uh, that's why we have uh, many problems uh, many problems that we are unable to reach to every farmers this is one idea and the second idea i perceive that um, uh, uh, agriculture uh, technology is usually to be demonstrated in farmers field and that we do but this kind of a demonstration is not so frequent not so massive though we are trying but uh, it is not a massive demonstration uh, if you remember that the green revolution time was uh, very successful people say that there was a mini kit trial there was a massive campaign among the people so nowadays technology is increasing day by day there are volumes of technology there are volumes of application uh, ict applications but still we are unable to reach to the farmers uh, and roughly if you calculate people say oh technology has been only transferred up to 15 percent somebody say it is 30 percent but the recent data says technology is um, uh, about 40 percent we have able to we are able to reach to the farmers but still there is a huge gap 60 percent about 70 percent we are unable to reach to the farmers now here comes the importance of uh, uh, making the farmers sensible making the farmers responsible making the farmers motivating to new kind of uh, technology new kind of uh, avenues new kind of uh, procedures uh, there was a time that people were not going to bank they were hesitating if i remember my childhood uh, we were putting the uh, putting up the shoes outside the bank then we were going to uh, inside the bank keeping our shoes outside but nowadays bank is reachable to everybody it is it is due to the sincere trial sincere attempt of uh, sincere trying of uh, government uh, and many people all kinds of stakeholders are engaged in popularizing that uh, jan dhan yojana similarly we have to make agriculture more sensitive sensible and making it uh, affordable available to all kinds of farmers okay so this is my uh, prelude i what i wanted to share with my uh, dear friends uh, uh, and respected delegates uh, for the next slide should i move or somebody will be help me sir this presentation is uh, governing by you sir you are operating your presentation so you okay. can do sir. okay is it visible yes sir yeah thank you so uh, if you remember uh, the there was a um, uh, committee known as uh, doubling farmers committee the dfi and uh, they have given some kind of uh, uh, yardsticks how to increase the farmers income and uh, they have identified seven sources the first one was uh, crop productivity 
and the second uh, idea was let us increase the livestock productivity and the third was uh, that uh, at least we should use our uh, resources with efficiency so that you can minimize the cost and uh, other idea was uh, we have to increase the intensity of the crops and there was also diversity and uh, so these are some uh, seven source of income uh, pip, uh, the dfi committee gave that if you do like this we can increase the farmers income maybe we can in double the farmers income and uh, i want to comment on this what is the progress but the seven sources are really uh, very good sources they they gave these points to think on it okay now uh, with reference to the seven goals of the uh, doubling farmers income how can we motivate farmers so uh, i know almost all you are connected with agriculture so this diagram so that if you want to bring agriculture motivating to the farmers uh, we are doing this but still we have to emphasize more and more uh, as per the seven sources declared by the doubling farmers income animal production crop production technology inputs consumption distribution and the transformation is very important for me where i can take some time from my participants the transformation in uh, processing transformation in value addition transformation in uh, making food habits change in food habits for example the revolution of millet nowadays the campaign for millet okay the logistics for millets yeah paisa ye bhi bo sa ke na khamo hello no no sir please continue am i okay sir you are okay okay so the processing part and uh, bioenergy so the transformation part is very important so i will request all my respected uh, participants those who are working and connected to agriculture they know animal production they know crop production they know how to manage inputs they know how to manage the consumption patterns of farmers yes, distribution of goods but i will be emphasizing on a transformation how we want to transform our agriculture when i want to say transform agriculture we have to see the food habits logistics supply chain so these are the areas where we are unable to touch the farmers so those farmers are touching these points they are getting benefit for example uh, nowadays the farmers producer organizations are uh, uh, engaged in these parts distribution and transformation the crop production part is done by the farmers but the other parts the uh, farmers producer companies uh, farmers producer organizations they are doing so i will be appealing that those who are in agriculture directly or indirectly my appeal will be these distribution transformation and consumption so things are changing for example when millet revolution came nowadays people are uh, making some kind of changes in their food habit they are taking millet sarbats they are taking millet cakes millet biscuits so these things are to be brought to the notice of the farmers so we can motivate the farmers there was a time in uh, uttar pradesh mushroom cultivation was very less because uh, mushroom is known as in hindi kukar mutta people do not consume mushroom but nowadays uh, good farmers women farmers are doing uh, mushroom cultivation so this is a transformation and consumption so my appeal will that you please have such kind of innovative ideas and uh, motivate the farmers 
and there are a lot of technology are coming nowadays uh, I, I know um, there are many technology it is visible to you uh, starting from internet of things uh, farming services e-commerce e-platforms smart agriculture climate smart agriculture many new concepts are coming many concepts then hame kya karna hai what do we do as far as possible we have to make awareness of the farmers so that the farmers can get maximum benefit out of this technology very interestingly uh, dr goel is just uh, with me we visit uh, this uh, rural area in Baranasi. Uh, uh, almost all farmers have a mobile phone. Almost all, 97%. From our study, we came to know 97% farmers do possess mobile phone. But the mobile phones are being used for mostly, again, 90% for entertainment social media facebook movie youtube etc and when you ask them how much time you give for looking the aspects of agricultural technology uh, that is very less maybe 10 percent 13 percent though 10 percent is significant but very less okay so i will request uh, our scientist to popularize this innovative technology to motivate the farmers to use it so that they can adopt the technology okay anything Excuse wrong me. with me there no, is no, some no. kind Excuse of sound Garland, meeting uh, to madam dr murli dr murli dr murli kindly mute yourself dr murli okay please continue okay now how to motivate the farmers there are certain things i will be talking very traditional i may be know i i might be knowing that there will be certain participants they might be knowing it but my way of conviction is very different uh, you may be knowing it there are a new technology in the vegetables new technology rice production new technology wheat production integrated farming but why I am to emphasize the one thing which is appealing to me nowadays, nursery. Nursery, I think, is one of the most profitable business nowadays. May not be most, but it's a, one of the profitable business. How many farmers are doing nursery business? Farmers in Kolkata, they are very very much aware about nursery business farmers of punjab they are aware about but if you compare other parts of the country nursery business is not flourishing as compared to west bengal and punjab maybe other countries other parts of a country might be doing but it is not for every single lane varanasi i want to cite examples almost all nursery in varanasi they are going to Kolkata and getting all nursery plants, nursery seedlings, all nursery, all nursery, uh, nursery inputs, nursery uh, infrastructure. So I will appeal to my scientists, other than rice and wheat, other than brinjal and potato, can they motivate the farmers to certain uncommon profitable ventures? which is possible in that area. For example, I cited here an example of a nursery. Is it visible? Hello, Dr. Goel? Sir, clearly visible. Yeah. So I was talking about uh, new ventures, motivating farmers to new ventures, uncommon ventures. Thoda bhiid se hatke, kisan ko motivate kiya jaye. Isi liye thoda mehnat karna padega. Like 
for example in varanasi in for example in vegetable there are a new varieties but those varieties are not so popularized we have to do that like protected cultivation very few progressive farmers they are doing like integrated pest management micro irrigation kitchen gardening post harvest management very few farmers are venturing very few farmers we have a case study most of the farmers they are going to rice wheat and uh, sometimes vegetable cultivation but what about floriculture what about other aspects high tech agriculture hydroponics i know it may not be possible somewhere but wherever it is possible are we able to motivate the farmers chalo thoda bheed se hatke dekhe bhai kya ho raha hai what is happening in other parts of the country maine yahan diya hu hamara ek indian institute of vegetable research yahan jakhni mein hai varanasi mein hai i am quite impressed by their activities good number of varieties गुड पैकेज ऑफ प्रैक्टिसेस तो मैं तो कहूंगा जो जो मुझे सुन रहे हैं एटलीस्ट उनका किसान को लेके एक बार दे शुड ब्रिंग दे आर फार्मर्स टू वाराणसी इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ वेजिटेबल रिसर्च मेनी न्यू टेक्नोलॉजी आर देयर मेनी न्यू टेक्नोलॉजी एंड रिसेंटली आई विजिटेड देयर एंड दे आर डूइंग वंडरफुल थिंग इन द सेम एरिया वेयर देयर इज अ कैबेज कॉलीफ्लावर दे आर आल्सो डूइंग फिश कल्टीवेशन इट इज अ न्यू कॉम्बिनेशन मुझे बड़ा आश्चर्य लगा वेजिटेबल पहले हम जानते थे राइस फिश राइस फिश बट वेजिटेबल विथ फिश कल्टीवेशन इट इज ए न्यू आइडिया सो लेट अस लेट अस कन्विंस आवर फार्मर्स एंड लेट अस शो एंड डेमोन्स्ट्रेट एटलीस्ट सम काइंड ऑफ फील्ड विजिट विल बी गुड टू मोटिवेट द फार्मर्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल माइक्रो इरीगेशन इसका एडोपन बहुत कम है माइक्रो इरीगेशन का बात तो बहुत बड़े बड़े हम करते हैं वी टॉक मेनी बिग थिंग्स सो मच ऑफ थिंग्स सो मच ऑफ सब्सिडी सो मच ऑफ रियली मेनी थिंग्स गुडी गुडी मेनी थिंग्स बट इफ यू कम टू ग्राउंड लेवल ओनली प्रोग्रेसिव फार्मर्स ओनली नॉलेजेबल फार्मर्स दे आर टेकिंग द बेनिफिट आउट ऑफ इट बट अदर पीपुल दे आर नॉट डूइंग बट दे कैन डू देर आर केसेस सी द ड्रीप इरिगेशन कैन सेव अप टू ट्वेंटी फाइव टू सेवेंटी परसेंट ऑफ वाटर सेविंग एंड इरिगेशन एफिशियंसी इज नाइंटी परसेंट हमारे गोयल साहब बैठे हैं जी इंजीनियर दीज आर दी अभिन्यूज लेटस मेक द फार्मर्स मोटिवेटिंग टू अडोप्ट दिस इरिगेशन टेक्नोलॉजी देर आर सब्सिडी गवर्नमेंट में सुविधा है उसको हम क्यों यूज नहीं करेंगे मैंने एक डाटा कलेक्शन किया था यहाँ आई डीड कलेक्टेड डाटा मार्च 21 तक हमारा देश में इतने लोगों को 10.20 लाख फार्मर्स अबाउट 78 परसेंट आर स्मॉल फार्मर मिडल फार्मर्स शेयर दी बेनिफिट ऑफ नाबार्ड माइक्रो इरिगेशन फंड सो नाबार्ड इज प्रोवाइडिंग माइक्रो इरीगेशन फंड सो लेटेस्ट मोटिवेट आवर फार्मर्स टू अडोप्ट सच काइंड ऑफ न्यू टेक्नोलॉजी we have a national horticulture mission we have national mission of micro irrigation we have rashtriya krishi vikas yojana to bhai thoda sa chaliye ki isko popularize kiya jaye aur kisan ko motivate kiya jaye to accept this technology at least to, to get some benefit out of technology i don't say that people are not doing people are doing but let let it be massive let it be more popularized and similarly the post harvest technology is another area of dr goel i know but i i just want to share my conviction what i understand what i want to share among our other scientists and students these are some technology but please tell me are these technology are popularized among the farmers are we motivating the farmers regarding kahi kisi zamane mein gaon ka log karte the rakhte the abhi bhi karte hain 
अचार पापड़ मैंगो को आम को सुखा कर रखते हैं बट वाई डोंट यू अडोप्ट मॉडर्न टेक्नोलॉजी वाई डोंट यू पॉपुलराइज मॉडर्न टेक्नोलॉजी एक किसान को एक ऑन्ट्रप्रन्योर हम नहीं बना सकते कैन वी आर नॉट एबल टू मेक ए फार्मर एन ऑन्ट्रप्रन्योर बाई इंट्रोड्यूसिंग हिम टू न्यू न्यू वेंचर्स ऑफ पोस्ट हार्वेस्ट टेक्नोलॉजी ये मेरा समीशन है आप इस लुक आप इस लुक को दे, इसको देख लीजिएगा सो डॉक्टर गोयल हाउ मेनी पार्टिसिपेंट्स आर देयर कनेक्टेड विथ यस सो फार फिफ्टी एट हेलो थैंक यू शुक्रिया शुक्रिया सो दीज आर सम पॉइंट आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू एग्ला एलाबोरेट मोर आई वॉन्ट टू हैव दॉइंट वेयर आई वॉन्ट टू कन्विंस आई वॉन्ट टू मेक माई पॉइंट Now, suppose for rice, for rice, there are different kind of technology. Those who are from Punjab, those who are from Hisar, Haryana, they might be knowing. We have technology. Please, please, please help the farmers in the adoption of technology. For example, I have a a site here on the other side. The saving of human labor, machine labor, and irrigation is about. 12% respectively in rice production by zero tillage method. अगर हम जीरो टीलेज भी अपना लेते हैं तो इरीगेशन सेविंग अबाउट सेवनटीन परसेंट हो रहा है सेवनटीन पॉइंट सिक्सटी परसेंट तो थोड़ा सा अगर हम इसको ध्यान दें तो इवन राइस में भी बहुत काम करने का अवसर है एंड फॉर माई फ्रेंड्स दो जो आर कनेक्टेड विथ मी I let me tell you. In Varanasi, we have one center known as International Rice Research uh, Institute, IRI. There is a South Asia campus at IRI at Varanasi. Please, 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 I request you bring your farmers to Varanasi, and uh, you cannot go to Philippines, but at least you can come to Varanasi and uh, let your farmers see. What kind of technology uh, are uh, uh, being produced out of rice? You know they are making wine, uh, beer. I have heard may not be true. I do not know, but I have seen rice biscuits. I have seen rice Horlicks. That are uh, products are there. So ये केवल वही नहीं जो खाले चावल राय भात हम खा रहे हैं केवल वही नहीं है. It has transformed the rice technology have been transferred. तो मैं तो कहूंगा कृपया आपका जो प्रोग्रेसिव फार्मर है कम से कम उनको लेके यहाँ आ जाइए और इरी से संपर्क करें और मोटिवेट करें हमारा देश को और आगे लेना है हम बहुत पीछे हैं ज्यादा तो प्रोडक्शन हम कर लेते हैं ग्रेन प्रोडक्शन हमारे देश में ठीक ठाक है कोई दिक्कत नहीं लेकिन थोड़ा सा देहात में जाइए गाँव में जाइए क्या स्थिति है थोड़ा देख लीजिएगा गरीबी कम नहीं हुआ ये दिस इज माई पर्सनल व्यू आई मे बी डिफर तो अगर ये टेक्नोलॉजी है इसको एडोप्शन किया जाए अगेन दिस इज रिलेटेड टू सम काइंड ऑफ न्यू टेक्नोलॉजी मेनी पीपल माइट बी नोइंग ब्राउन मैन्यरिंग डायरेक्ट सिंग एस आर आई लीप कलर चार्ट सो दीज आर दी न्यू टेक्नोलॉजी इन राइस यू माइट बी नोइंग सो आई वॉन्ट डिस But the point I want made, I have already made. So these are some benefits. If you do direct seeding of rice, how much benefit we have? See, see, the main thing I want to say: it saves water by thirty-five to forty percent of water. It can save, and it can uh, reduces the production cost rupees three thousand per hectare. And it can increase the yield up to ten percent, and there are more benefits. I don't want to read it. So even in rice production, जो जो करते हैं जो किसान गए एक बार एक बार बुआई कर दिए और दूसरे बार जाके काट के धान ले आए, वो होगा नहीं चलेगा. कुछ किसान तो हैं ये बहुत serious हैं. There are farmers, they are very serious. But there are farmers they go for easy cultivation. Because rice is very easy. One time, let's go. 
बुआई करो सीडलिंग कर दो दो बार काट के ले आओ और बीच में मुलाकात होता नहीं जो इंटर क्रॉपिंग कल्टीवेशन कभी कभी किसान तो करते नहीं कुछ किसान सीरियस है वो करते हैं और हम लोग बचपन में देखते हैं किसान लोग करते थे बट मेरा जो मेन एम्फास इज व्हाट इज न्यू व्हाट आई वांट टू टेल यू टू अडोप्ट न्यू टेक्नोलॉजी एंड मोटिवेट द फार्मर्स टू अडोप्ट न्यू टेक्नोलॉजी बिकॉज वी हैव लॉट ऑफ एडवांटेज इफ यू अडोप्ट टेक्नोलॉजी यहाँ मेरे साथ डॉक्टर जेपी राय डॉक्टर गोयल है दोनों इंपोर्टेंट साइंटिस्ट है केबी के हैं देखिए लीव कलर चार्ट क्या किसान यूज करते हैं लीव कलर चार्ट क्या किसान यूज करते हैं डॉक्टर जेपी राय आर यू कनेक्टेड विथ मी डॉक्टर गोयल क्या लीव कलर किसान यूज करते हैं नो सर नो बट दिस इज ए टेक्नोलॉजी अगर किसान इसको यूज कर ले ये बहुत हाई फाई टेक्नोलॉजी नहीं है बट इट कैन गिव मेनी मैसेजेस वट कैंड मैसेज proper timing of nitrogen overcome large nitrogen losses so there are many things to know so i hope uh, but progressive farmers of punjab might be using i don't have any data those who are from punjab they might share their knowledge with me so these are again some new technology सरफेस सीडिंग फॉर इरिगेटेड सीडिंग क्रॉप रेसिड्यू मैनेजमेंट लेगुम रोटेशन हम करते हैं लेकिन कुछ चीजें किसान भूल जाते हैं तो वो कहना पड़ना कहना पड़ता है इसको आप लोग जानते हैं री इन्फोर्समेंट इज ए काइंड ऑफ लर्निंग हम लोग भूल जाते हैं इसलिए बार बार हम बच्चों को बोलते हैं बेटा ऐसा नहीं करना है ऐसा करना है डू दिस डोंट डू दिस तो हम लोग कभी कभी भूल जाते हैं तो और हम सब नौकरी पेशा वाले आदमी है को, कोई स्टूडेंट है हम लोग जानते नहीं तो इसीलिए कभी कभी किसान को बोलना पड़ता है भैया डिडू डी दिस डिडू फॉलो दिस डिडू फॉलो दिस और नॉट इसको बोलना पड़ता है सो डेट दे कैन हार्वेस्ट द बेनिफिट आउट ऑफ इट देखिए धान का बारे में गेहूं का बारे में बता रहा हूं अगर आप जीरो टिलेज करते हैं जीरो टिलेज का बहुत बेनिफिट है नॉर्मल टिलेज और जीरो टिलेज में बहुत फर्क है तो ये चीजें हम जानते हैं कुछ किसान को हमें ये बताना पड़ेगा सो यू हैव टू मोटिवेट द फार्मर्स एन इंटीग्रेटेड फार्मिंग सिस्टम यू नो देर आर डिफरेंट कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ इंटीग्रेटेड फार्मिंग सिस्टम लेकिन बड़े बड़े किसान ही कर पाते हैं छोटे किसान नहीं कर पाते हैं और छोटे किसानों को करना है वो तो कैसे करना है हमें बता नहीं पाते हैं सो राइट साइड जस्ट सी इन राइट साइड देर इज ए वेरी गुड सिस्टम इंटीग्रेटेड फार्मिंग सिस्टम फीस राइस एवरीथिंग बट कैन दी मार्जिनल फार्मर्स स्मॉल फार्जिनल फार्मर्स दी यूनाइटेड टुगेदर एंड कैन गेट दे कैन दे गेट बेनिफिट आउट ऑफ इट आई वॉन्ट टू पुट दिस क्वेश्चन टू यू कैन वी मेक इट पॉपुलराइज अमंग फार्मर्स इट इज देयर पीपुल आर डूइंग बट माई माई आइडिया इज दैट लेट एस पॉपुलराइज इट मोर बिकॉज वी हैव लॉट ऑफ एडवांटेज आउट ऑफ दिस मॉडल दिस मॉडल ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी देन देर इज ए केस स्टडी फ्रॉम डिफरेंट फ्रॉम नागालैंड आई आई गॉट इट फ्रॉम Uh, google baba from google i took it so this farmer uh, was doing uh, some kind of a traditional farming but the kbk scientist thanks to kbk is one of the uh, premier model of extension now and uh, thank you to all kbk scientist because pradhan mantri and uh, our government people are very happy that kbk is one of the best model of extension uh, now and so this farmer Uh, उसका नाम है सेभु ही वेंट समथिंग अदर वे फार्मी क्यू कल्टिवेशन सो लो कॉस्ट पॉली हाउस एंड ही इज अर्निंग गुड अमाउंट ऑफ मनी सो दिस इज ए केस स्टडी डेट अपील्ड मी सो आई वांटेड टू शेयर विथ यू दिस इज फ्रॉम नागालैंड एंड यू कैन स्टडी द इंटीग्रेटेड फार्मिंग सिस्टम मॉडल ऑफ सेभेयू चूहो 
so this is one case study i want to cite and the second what he did he also had some components of uh, um, um, uh, pig farming poultry farming uh, then uh, uh, persimmon plants so he he calculated calculated all the costs input profit and it was seen that it is 1.9.1 so iska jo bc ratio hai wo 1 9 hai so i was very impressed though it is a old case study 2019 ka hai but i was impressed to uh, show this example with for you uh, to so much uh, benefit is that farmer is getting so we can motivate the farmers for new ventures new technology it is difficult i know motivating is very difficult it is this is a software aspect motivation is a software aspect ha kisko 2 kg gehun dhan de dijiye kah dijiye are bhai tum isko adopt karo bada jaldi adopt kar lega lekin phir baad mein chhod sakta hai lekin motivation is a slow process motivation is a teaching process motivation is a learning process motivation is a difficult motivation is a software aspect psychological aspect it is difficult but takes time we have to have lot of patience and these are some new ventures uh, uh, new uh, promoting icit initiative that uh, in the government of india is doing okay sowing growing harvesting storage marketing so lot of campaign government of india is doing uh, for organic farming soil health card fertilizer nano nano urea then agricultural marketing e nam then pradhan mantri fasal bima yojana koi किसान को बहुत सारे योजनाएं का बारे में पता नहीं खासकर जो अनपढ़ हैं, गरीब किसान है जानकारी नहीं कम खेती वाले हैं एक्चुअली दो पीपल डू नॉट नो सो प्लीज आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट इन दिस मॉर्निंग आई एम इमोशनल टू शेयर दैट प्लीज हेल्प देम टू हैव बेटर स्टाइल ऑफ लिविंग टू हैव बेटर फूड सर्व बेटर फार्मिंग बेटर फूड and that campaign is known as farm to fork farm to fork let us help the farmers please jitna sambhav hai motivation kiya jaye dr goel am i audible sir yeah then in addition e naam there is a national mission for sustainable agriculture pradhan mantri krishi sinchai yojana bagra 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 itna sare dher sare program hai मैंने कुछ चीजें आपका सामने हाईलाइट करूंगा क्या हाईलाइट कर रहा हूं 29 नाइन अक्टूबर 2021 तक हमारे देश में एक लाख सॉरी वन पॉइंट सेवन टू करोर फार्मर्स टू पॉइंट जीरो फाइव लाख ट्रेडर्स ऑलरेडी रजिस्टर्ड इन नाम पोर्टल एंड ऑल्सो वन थाउजेंड मंडीज ऑफ एट इन स्टेट्स and three union territory have been registered sorry integrated with e nam platform aaj on 29th november 2021 ka baat mein keh raha hu to kya isme hum ek kadam aage badh sakte hain kya aur kuch kisan ko isme jod sakte hain kya to ho sakte hain ye data ko hum badha sakte hain to ye cheezon ko hame dekhna padega to isme bhi kisan ko motivate karna padega kisan ka bhagidari badhana padega मुझे पता है माइक्रो इरिगेशन फंड बहुत किसान तो जानते नहीं मैं जब गांव देहात में जाता हूं मैं पूछता हूं भाई आप आपको पता है कि आप माइक्रो इरिगेशन फंड क्या है बताते नहीं फिर पूछता हूं एम पे क्या पता है बताते नहीं जानते नहीं और जो बड़े किसान है प्रोग्रेसिव है वो जानते हैं कर लेते हैं ओनली टेन मिलियन हेक्टेयर आर एग्नेस्ट प्रोमोटेड सेवेंटी मिलियन हेक्टेयर स्टैटिस्टिक्स देखिए द गवर्नमेंट अप्रूव्ड a dedicated amount of 5000 crore fund by nabard which will provide this amount to states to concessional rate of interest to promote micro irrigation which is currently has a coverage of 10 million hectares only as a against potential of 70 million hectares bhaiya we have a potential of 70 million hectares abhi tak 10 hectare million hame माइक्रो माइक्रो इरिगेशन में हम लोग कवर किए हैं कैसे हेल्प करेंगे हम हाउ विल डू दैट आपको काम करना पड़ेगा आई रिक्वेस्ट 
I will request our uh, I request our sincere scientists, please, ये चीजों को popularize करिए। बहुत किसान को तो पता नहीं, जे भाई KCC livestock में भी मिल रहा है। अभी नया government launch किया है, किसान credit card is also available for people who are practicing uh, livestock. Those farmers doing livestock. Oh, वो भी किसान क्रेडिट भी पॉपुलराइज किया जाए बहुत लोगों को पता नहीं मैंने बकरी पालन करता हूं क्या मुझे भी किसान क्रेडिट कार्ड मिल सकता है प्लीज डू जितना संभव किसान को मोटिवेशन किया जाए आवर किया जाए एंड बीज आर सम डिजिटल इनिशिएटिव्स या गवर्नमेंट हैज प्रोवाइडेड उसको भी थोड़ा पॉपुलराइज किया जाए आप लोग जानते हैं करते भी हैं बट जितना संभव इसको और आगे ले जाना है मैपिंग ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर इन डिफरेंट सेक्टर्स हर जगह में फार्मर मार्केट गवर्नमेंट हर जगह में तो इसको जितना हम पॉपुलराइज कर सकते हैं आप लोगों को पता है ना नहीं मैनेज हैदराबाद इज ऑर्गेनाइजिंग डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ ट्रेनिंग स्पेशल इन आईसीटी लेड ट्रेनिंग आईसीटी मीडिएटेड ट्रेनिंग for farmers, for entrepreneurs, sir, for many people they are doing. So please connect your farmers to manage Hyderabad. When government has launched that national e-government plan, you know, then we have machine learning, we have a blockchain, many things I do not know, but these are some avenues that farmers are doing. Those who are aware, please, Please, please make a, make an attempt to motivate the farmers. एक तो अभी मुझे पता चला एक गवर्नमेंट का स्पेशल फ्रंट है मुझे लग रहा है ड्यूरिंग कोविड 19 ही आया था डेट इज नोन आज एग्रीकल्चरल इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर फ्रंट और इन्वेस्टमेंट इन डिजिटल कनेक्टिविटी एंड ऑप्टिक फाइबर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इज एन एलिजिबल एक्टिविटी फॉर द प्रोजेक्ट्स कवर्ड अंडर द स्कीम इट इज ए सेंट्रल सेक्टर स्कीम तो ये भी बहुत सारे चीजें है जितना संभव है जो जैसे है जो जो प्रोग्रेसिव फार्मर है उसको उसी अनुसार टेक्नोलॉजी दिया जाए जो स्मॉल मार्जिनल फार्मर है उसको उसी अनुसार टेक्नोलॉजी किया जाए दिया जाए ताकि हमारा उद्देश्य यह है मोटिवेटिंग फार्मर्स सो दैट दे कैन हैव देयर बेटर लाइवलीहुड बेटर लाइफस्टाइल एटलीस्ट बेटर फूड टू ईट दैट इज माय पर्पस ऑफ कन्विक्शन मुझे पता है बहुत चीजें आपको जानकारी है बट सुबह सुबह मैं बात कर रहा हूँ खोज रहा हूँ थोड़ा सा रिपीटेशन में कोई बुराई नहीं इफ रिपीटेशन इज ए काइंड ऑफ लर्निंग सो लेट अस हैव सम काइंड ऑफ रिपीटेशन एंड व्हाट इज न्यू इफ इट इज न्यू देन प्लीज एक्सेप्ट इट सो दीज आर सम अदर सेंट्रल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ एग्रीकल्चरल इंजीनियरिंग भोपाल हमारे डॉक्टर गोयल साहब जानते होंगे उनका है कृषि यंत्र आप बहुत किसान को पसंद नहीं जो कृषि यंत्र आप होता है क्या फार्मर में के आप क्या है फार्मर सेफ्टी क्या है वाटर बैलेंस स्टिमुलेशन मॉडल ये बहुत सारे चीजें दिन दिन पर दिन आ, निकलता जा रहा है इनोवेटिव आइडियाज आर कमिंग लेकिन किसान मैं जो ज्यादा देखता हूं मेरा अनुभव है धान गेहूं सब्जी छोड़ के और कुछ पेस्टिसाइड एप्लीकेशन करना है खाद बीज अप्लाई करना है अदर देन डैट न्यू टेक्नोलॉजी का अडोपन बहुत कम है फॉर एग्जाम्पल दिस सेंट्रल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ एग्रीकल्चरल इंजीनियरिंग मुझे नहीं लग रहा है बहुत किसान को इसका बारे में जानकारी होगा होगा तो होगा द फार्मर्स ऑफ पंजाब माइट बी नोइंग मोर अबाउट दी ए आई सी आर सी सी आई ए इट वेरी गुड इंस्टीट्यूट दे आर आर ऑफरिंग मेकेनिकल सोल्यूशन टू फार्मर्स कितना जंत्रपाति कितना यंत्र कृषि यंत्र ये लोग निकालते हैं उसका अडोपन अभी धीरे धीरे हमारा देश में हो रहा है मैं रिक्वेस्ट करूंगा जो यंग साइंटिस्ट हैं हमारे यहाँ जो विद्यार्थी हैं दो जो आर लिसनिंग टू मी प्लीज पॉपुलराइज दिस टेक्नोलॉजी देर आर मेनी थिंग्स दिस इज मोर अबाउट डिजिटलाइजेशन ऑफ एग्रीकल्चरल सेक्टर नाउ वी आर इन दी एरा ऑफ आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस आपको पता है सोफिया सोफिया केम टू वाराणसी 
a super computer sophia artificial intelligent robot who has came to varanasi we interacted with him her and it is they are doing wonderful work and application of a drone is again a blessing to the farmers okay so please please help the farmers to adopt this technology so that we can help the farmers in, in increasing baat mein niche likha hai just see niche mein diya hu there is increase in yield 10 to 30 percent in the crops main isko kahi se liya hu i have cited then there are many digital apps uh iska bare mein zyada main bataunga nahi it is being said to ye bhi aaj kal agriculture mein aa raha hai isko bhi jitna sambhav hai then we are applying our technology in supply chain finance farm data analytics so those who are farmers and those many farmers are very educated there are people they are retired engineers there are people they are from retired army there are people they are doctors but they are doing wonderful agriculture to unko motivation kariye aap apply their knowledge here or, or supply this knowledge to them and they can be some good example for small farmers so these are again some startups uh, so innovation is the key issue innovation is the key issue if you are innovative if you are uh, farming technology innovative so i request make the farmers also innovative so they can have better life they can have better livelihood so for some example you know for in marketing we have ninja cart they are doing wonderful business wonderful business like Swiggy, Zomato, the Ninja Cart is also doing wonderful private startups, but they're doing wonderful business. And we have a Chrissy Hub, they are also doing wonderful business. Please make your farmers connected and our recently one lady from uh, Maharashtra now known as Pragati Gokhale. Pragati Gokhale is launching radio, Mirch, sorry, market Mirchi. So it is a very good app. Uh, please connect your farmers with the market Mirchi. So, so these are the advantages, these are disadvantages. I won't take much time. These are some examples of a drone, e-commerce, data collection, farms, of artificial intelligence, then application of a blockchain in uh, agriculture. So there are many possibilities, many possibilities. So I will be stopping here. So uh, my dear friends, uh, we live in agriculture. Uh, our food is from agriculture, our medicine is from agriculture, our uh, uh, home is from agriculture, our survival in, is in agriculture, and uh, our, our God is a farmer. So let us worship them, let us motivate them so that we can have a good world, we can have a better world, we can have a world of happiness and peace because nowadays there is conflict conflict due to water management, conflict due to carbon, conflict due to oxygen, conflict due to ecosystem, environment. So we have to minimize conflict, maximize peace and happiness and a better livelihood. So I will stop here and thank you to the chair, thank you the convener, thank you the team, thank you once again, thank you so much. So thank you sir for your very valuable talk. Now I request to all the participants, kindly you can ask your queries directly to our uh, today's resource person. And I am requesting to Hamida ma'am, kindly unmute the participants so they can, hello. Hamida ma'am. Hello, please ask questions. And, and now, please uh, ask questions. Now the talk is uh, open for discussion.
participants are required to please ask their question. There is a question, sir, from Devadatta Pandit. Sir, which seeds to be promoted to farmers? My, uh, somebody can modify the question. Which seeds to be promoted to farmers, indigenous or hybrid? This is a question from I am unable Pandit. to. I am unable to get Dr. Goel. Can you bring the question to me? Yeah, sir, you can see the question in your chat box if you can assess this chat box. Okay, uh, okay, chat box. Um, so, yes. yeah, click on that. Click yeah. on that. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, okay. okay, sir, which seeds to be promoted? Uh, uh, two farmers, indigenous seeds or hybrid seeds. Uh, uh, I exactly cannot comment on this because I am not a seed scientist. But uh, as an extension scientist, I must say that whatever suitable for the soil, geographical area, climate, that seed is good. Sometimes our own seed, uh, which are keeping thousand years ago, that is doing well. But sometimes hybrid seeds. But uh, my submission will be that Basing on the availability, basing on the scientific advice, uh, we have to select these seeds. But as far as my talk was concerned, yes, 